Here's a video on how to use a laptop as your FPV goggles and recording device for your drone. On the laptop I will use this software which is OBS Studio. OBSproject.com is the website. From there you can download it for Windows. After you download it you will have a file which is 68 megabytes in size and if needed Visual C redistributable that will be downloaded also. So let's just install the program. Next. I agree. Next and install. So that's the video capture program and I will also use a receiver of course. This will receive the 5.8 GHz video signal from the drone. This is connected to the computer through a USB cable, USB on one end and micro USB on the other end. So let's just plug this in here. Okay, and the other end into the computer. Okay, so the receiver is connected to the computer. There was a sound, so it was detected. It says launch OBS. Okay, let's just click finish and the program should automatically start. That's the program itself and let's go here to sources and click on this plus button, add. Okay, and add video capture device. Okay, it says create new and just click OK. Now, as you can see, here's a camera on the laptop and it's showing me. So that's the input. We don't want that one, but here at integrated webcam a device, I have also USB 2 PC camera. Click on that one and now it's connected to this one. It says 5700 megahertz. Let's close this window with the OK button. Let's plug in the drone also. Okay, and it already says run cam and we also have image. So the drone is transmitting the video wirelessly and the receiver is picking it up and sending it to the computer and you can see it there. If you don't have an image right away from the drone, then you have to search the frequency. So press and hold that button and it is searching the frequency and the drone of course has to be plugged in and yes we already have some video there so you just have to press and hold that red button on this receiver UVC receiver 5.8 G okay and after it finishes there's the image at that point it found the strongest signal okay now let's make this one a little bit larger right click on it and full screen and display Okay, so in this way you can see the image which comes from the drone in a large window. Of course it has a little bit of lag, but if you're not racing then it should be somewhat pretty good. Okay, you can exit from here with the escape button. Okay, and transform fit to screen. Now right here in the lower right side we have some buttons. Start recording. So we want to use the recording. If you want, you can set up a hotkey also. But let's just press this button, start recording. Now it says stop recording, so it's already recording the video. So I move my hand in front of it. And let's just stop it. Stop recording. Okay, here at settings you can see where it is saving the files. So at stream, let's see what is here. Output, that's the bitrate. 12 megabits I modified it that's why it's that high it was I think at 2.5 megabits only and that's the recording format MOV if you set it to MP4 it's warning us because it will not be able to recover the video file if the power of the machine fails okay so let's use let's say MOV that's at audio video and hotkey. I already entered the hotkey here for start recording Alt F9 and stop recording Alt F10. You can clear it from there with that clear button and go here to stop recording and press Alt let's say F10 and it was remember there. Click OK. So now if I press Alt F9 on the keyboard then it is already recording. It says stop recording. And if I press Alt F10, 
then now it says start recording so it recorded okay the video files can be found at open a file explorer window and go here to the videos folder you can modify that one also and here are the videos that were captured from the drone start recording I said stop recording so it's already recording the video so I move my hand in front of it and let's just stop it so the sound is recorded from the microphone of the laptop it's not recorded from the drone itself and that's it. You can use the program as uh, FPV goggles. You can set it to full screen. You can fly in this way. And you can also record it onto the laptop directly. If I unplug the power from here, then the image should disappear from the laptop. The video transmission was interrupted. This was also unplugged. Now even the static stopped. Escape stops it and X closes it.